So today is the day for another requested video and this one is going to be like my drugstore starter kit or like my favorite drugstore makeup items, whatever you want to call it. As you can tell by the title though, this is called my drugstore makeup starter kit. So as you can tell, I am filming in a different um, background, like I'm at a different angle in my room. I usually film that way, which is my door, but now I'm filming in the middle, like like in the center, like, like in the middle. <laughs> okay. I am actually filming in a different location. If you couldn't tell, my bed is behind me. Yes, I have stuffed animals on it. Um, there's my Hello Kitty, there's my dog, and then there's a picture of my boyfriend that he drew, and then there's pictures of us. That is a picture of a, um, giraffe print high heel, and then this one in the middle is a giraffe puzzle I made, and then this one is another giraffe, and I have my giraffe figurines, um, in my closet because I still have to get shelves to put them on that wall, but this is off topic. But I just want to let you guys know, like, as a little disclaimer, call it whatever you want to, um, I don't own every single little category out of the categories from the drugstore if that makes sense. I do own drugstore makeup and I do own high-end makeup so for example I don't have like a concealer to show you guys, I don't have a setting powder to show you guys, I don't have an eyeliner to show you guys, I don't have a lip liner to show you guys so I hope you understand that. Um, those are just things that I either don't use or don't have from the drugstore. I hope you guys can understand that. Before we get started I want you guys to know that some of these products I'm gonna show you guys are new products that just recently came out at the drugstore so that is good for you guys if you want to go and check out these products. So now we're going to get started. So starting with eye products, I have a couple bases to show you guys. And I don't own L'Oreal Decrease or any other thing similar to that. But I do own something that's new. And these are from Maybelline. And if you couldn't tell, drum roll please. These are the Maybelline Color Tattoo Shadows. So I have four of them so far. And here is the first one. This was in my tutorial. And this is in Painted Purple. So here's the color of that one, and then we have Tough as Taupe, so here's the color of that one, then we have Pomegranate Punk, so here is that one, and then we have Edgy Emerald. So there's that one. So here is the color of all of them up close and personal in case you wanted to take a closer look. So again, pomegranate punk, edgy emerald, tough as taupe, and then painted purple. And I'm sorry, this is a weird angle. I highly, highly, highly recommend these. So as I said, these are the only bases I have from the drugstore. I use them as bases. I guess they're eyeshadows, but I use them as that. And I just want to show you very quickly how pigmented they are. So just one swipe of it. Do you see that? Like, and they are very creamy. I know people um, are comparing them to MAC paint pots, and I definitely think they are um, comparable to them. Here are these swatches of all of the ones that I have. As you can tell, they have very nice pigmentation, and they have six more colors. I only have four. They have ten colors, so you have a lot of colors to choose from. So here are the Maybelline color tattoos. Now we're going to move on to shadows very quickly. I don't want this video to be too long, and I can already tell it's probably going to be long. So I have one eyeshadow from NYX or NYX to show you guys, and this is the only eyeshadow I own from them, and I really like it. Again, very nice pigmentation and very nice color range. Anyways, I don't know if this is considered drugstore makeup, but it's very comparable in price to them. So the one I have is in Golden. I won't bother showing you the name because that doesn't matter, but it's just in the color Golden. And as you can tell, it's a gold color. So here is the pigmentation of that. So I definitely recommend NYX eyeshadows. So here is my NYX shadow. Then I have one from Rimmel London. And this is a new collection type thing, I think. And this is from the Glam Eyes HD collection. I think this is a collection. I'm not sure. Anyways, the one I have is in the color True Union Jack, I believe. So it comes with a doe foot applicator that just fell. 
but here is the product again this is very nice pigmentation and they have very nice color ranges you don't just have to get the ones that have the England flag I really like this one I've used it a couple times already and I really like this one here is my Rimmel Glam Eyes HD so if you've been subscribed to me since Alina Baby 12 that old account then you know that I really am obsessed with these city color eyeshadows I don't know if this is the brand I say that every time I talk about them I think the brand's pixie but they are called City Color, and I have these two little palettes. So these colors are pigmented. They don't have the best pigmentation, but they still are pigmented. So like one swipe of that, and then the black isn't too pigmented, as you can tell. But here is that one, and again, they don't have any names of the colors, which I really don't like. And then the last one I have is that one with like that orangey color and the cranberry color I've been obsessed with. I really love this orange color. Um, it's just a nice deep orange and I like that so there's a swatch of that right there and so I recommend City Color Eyeshadows. You can find these at Walgreens for just $2.99 each. Moving on to mascara, I have two to show you guys and I hope you like them as much as I do. Let me know if you have them or let me know if you're going to try them out and the first one I have is by Maybelline and I think you guys can tell already this is my Lash Stiletto. Uh, voluminous mascara this is in the red bottle so I love this mascara for volume and basically that's all I use it for because I have long lashes to begin with but we're gonna zoom in oops too far we're gonna zoom in and I use that um, mascara today along with the next one I'm gonna show you guys and as you can tell it just gives you nice volume it really makes your eyelashes um, you know how volume and very thick so I like that it's thickening and volumizing so I really like that about it the last mascara I have to show you guys is the L'Oreal Paris voluminous original so here's what that one looks like again it's just a volume mascara I'm a volume junkie for my lashes so I definitely recommend these two um, like I said I use them together and I really like them moving on to lips I have two lip balms or chopsticks and then I have a lipstick and a lip gloss the first one I have to show you guys of course I guess I'll just pull out all of them is my EOS or EOS lip balms this one is lemon drop this one is honeydew melon I think this one is sweet mint and this one is summer fruit if I remember correctly but just look at how much I I've used them so can you see that like it's supposed to you know so it comes obviously bigger and more round when you buy it so you can tell how much I've used it I basically have one everywhere I go with me and I definitely love 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 those the next one I have again is a kind of new product and this is again by Maybelline um, and this is the baby lips I've talked about these a couple times before this one is in pink punch I believe so I'll swatch this very quick. So like I said, it just gives a nice sheen and a little bit of color to your lips. It's not too pigmented. I'm actually wearing that on my lips today. So here is that one. I also have a grapevine or grapefruit or something, but that one is in my purse currently. So I definitely recommend Baby Lips by Maybelline. They make your lips so soft and smooth. Talking about lipsticks, I have one brand and one little line of that brand to show you guys. And these are by Revlon and these are the color burst lipsticks so that's what these look like I have two of them so far um, this one's in soft nude and then this one is in raspberry so I just recently got this one I'll show you the pigmentation of that so you know very nice pigmentation as well the they have a lot of colors to choose from from these as you can tell these are totally two different colors I definitely recommend these if you're just wanting to start out in lipsticks I definitely recommend soft nude which is just a nice nude color mine is very beat up I need a new one desperately but there's a little swatch of that one I'm not too good at that see it's like dead so I definitely recommend Revlon Color Burst Lipsticks. Where lip glosses are concerned, I have one from L'Oreal that I want to show you guys. And this is the Color Rich Lip Glosses. And I have one in Raspberry Splash. So here is what the product looks like. Here is the Color Rich Lip Gloss um, in Strawberry Splash. As you can tell, it's very glossy. It's kind of sticky. I don't know if you can see that sticking up from my finger to my hand. 
but it blends very well and it has a nice color even when you blend it out so I recommend the color ritual glosses by L'Oreal before we do the last category which is um, face I was just very quickly in between doing those wiping off all my swatches on this towel and as you can tell I don't know if you can tell actually so I shouldn't say that but this towel is actually wet and I went to wipe off everything like the lip gloss I just showed and um, all the eyeshadows and these um, what are they called color tattoos they won't come off so that's another thing I guess they have very long staying power obviously because they're supposed to be 24 hour wear so back to these for a minute if you want to just pause that and read that they are supposed to be 24 hour wear so it's good to know that they won't come off even with water so i didn't really know that because i take mine off with a very nice like heavy oil um makeup remover for foundation i have one and this is my covergirl nature Lux foundation and here is what it looks like i am in 325 sandstone so very quickly I will take a little bit out so if you want to know what the consistency is like um, here is what that looks like so it blends very nicely very smoothly as you can tell you can cover a lot of spaces with it with a little bit of product and it just looks very natural on your skin sometimes I even build it up I put one coat on my face and then I'll let it dry kind of and then put another coat on my face so I definitely recommend this now here it is blended into my skin and I don't even think you can tell that it's on there so it makes your skin look very natural and I like it and I think it's comparable to the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua um, which I also have so if you wanted to try that maybe you can try this out first so I definitely recommend this and let me know if you check it out like I said I don't have a concealer or a setting powder to show you guys but I guess this is kind of like a setting powder this is actually a min mineral finishing powder and this is from Revlon again and this is the color stay in Sunkiss I've shown this before again but um, it's just a nice mineral powder as you can tell it's like very very shiny and shimmery it has a very like nice amount of sheen to it I guess you would say but one swipe through it that's what it looks like so if you want an overall color on your face that's what you'll get it says to dust it all over your face which I don't recommend I kind of use it as blush sometimes but then again look how much colors you're getting with this so you're getting like one and then you got the darker one and then the lighter one over here so you can dip your brush into um, just like one color of these if you want a nice highlight or a nice like little glow on your cheeks so I recommend this but I don't recommend it for what it tells you to do on the back which is swipe it all over your face because it is full of shimmer two products left I promise I'm almost done um my camera has five minutes left on it so I gotta hurry and these are both blushes and they are both by Maybelline I hope you guys don't think I'm sponsored by Maybelline or something I'm not I just have really been liking their products lately one of them is a new product and one of them is not so I'll start with the older product and this is the Maybelline dream mousse blush and I have it in pink frosting number 10 so there is what the packaging looks like and then you take that off and as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it, and it's just a very moussey consistency because that's the name of it, Dream Mousse. So you put your hand in it, and I'll try to get this on camera, but you put your hand on it, and um, not that much comes off, so you get a nice like payoff, and you don't need a lot of it at all. So here it is on my hand, as you can tell, you just blend it out, and look how natural that looks. In this particular color, it has a little bit of shimmer, but it looks very natural on the cheeks. So I really like this pink frosting shade. And then the last one I have to show you, I think they also have in pink frosting. And this is the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush, which when I heard about it, I was like, ah, I have to try that out. So I got one, and mine is in Hot Tamale. So I'm going to open it and I just want you guys to see the bounciness of it. So as you can tell, I've made a dent in it earlier. Um, I'm actually wearing this on my cheeks today very lightly because I wanted to show it when I did this video. I don't know if you can see that, but 
it's just like very bouncy in consistency and when you do that not a lot shows up on your hand so what I find that you have to do is kind of rub it into the product and then you get some payoff and then there we go you can see this and then just pat it on your cheeks and then rub it out so let me do the other side so there is what the product looks like when it's on. I really like the consistency and I think Maybelline comes out with cool products and cool names for them and just cool consistencies overall. Like a mousse blush, you have a bouncy blush, you have color tattoo eyeshadows which I think is really nice. That is all I have to show you guys for this video. Thank you so much for the girl that requested it. I can't remember your name for the girl who requested it but I will put your name right here above my hand. So there is her name. Go and check out her channel. And I hope you guys have a good night, and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video, and thank you for watching.